Now, th this one is weird, man. She, she, Cardi B posted this and then she deleted it. It was a, like a voicemail, something like that. And someone captured it and posted it before she deleted it. And uh, people call people crazy for saying that these people are demonic and they're possessed and they, they're mind controlled and they have handlers and stuff like that. Ah, oh, no, that's crazy. But they, these people are admitting it. She's admitting it here. And you, you got to feel for her. It's, she made the deal. She made the deal to get where she wanted. Or maybe she was picked, you know. Some of these people, they get picked. Only God knows. But this is like, when you sell your salvation, and when you're in this industry, you need to talk about certain things. You need to do certain things. And I think some of these, the really controlled ones, like Cardi B, they have alter personas. They have different personalities in them. That are, that are like demons, you know? There's torture involved and all that stuff. And like you get sensitized, you get all these like different demons inside of you. You split, split personalities and things like that. Uh, it's for you to corrupt society when you're famous. All her music is to corrupt society. And here she's being, she's actually being her normal human self. She's being her normal human self. Let's take a look. Let's take a listen. I'm having these weird, I've been having these weird feelings lately. And that's kind of why I didn't want her to do this song shake it or like any drill songs because it's like these songs are activating like these demons that i killed see that we've been talking about this for a long time these songs activate demons and when you listen to them they open demonic like doors in, in your life she's saying it herself here that these songs activate demons who's crazy now you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that girl anymore. Like, like I just, I just want to be a mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that old Cardi anymore. Like, I just, I don't want to be that anymore. Like, and she's coming back. See, she's saying I don't want to be, I don't want to be the old Cardi anymore. She doesn't want to be that persona anymore, because her brain. Switches to the other person. It's like, it's like Sasha Fierce with Beyonce. Oh, I go into the cons. I lifted my hands and this thing came into me. Sasha Fierce came into me. She's trying to make it look cool. It was a demonic spirit that came into her. She performed. She performs with demonic spirits. They help her perform. And she embraces that. And this one, it's similar. It's a similar thing. It's, it's, she, she's getting possessed by these demons. This, and this alter personality that's inside of her that's demonic. And they've done that for a reason. It's, it's by design. They have done that to her. They've done that to her. And she's saying that this it keeps coming back. She keeps coming back. When she's making these satanic songs and stuff, people are embracing it. It's like witchcraft. And that, that demonic spirit keeps coming back to her. She's trying to escape it, actually. She's coming back, bro. Like, like getting a cane. If you know about the canes, then you know. I've been having these weird feelings. I don't want to be that anymore. I want to be a mother. This song is activating demons that are, and it's coming back again. And I don't want to be that. I want to be a good person. So she, she's trying to be herself, but because of this whole programming that she's in, this, this demon keeps coming back to her. And she needs to play this role in the media and, and have that other alter persona take over. The whole of Babylon persona take over. her, And she doesn't want that. Imagine Beyonce saying that I don't want Sasha Fierce to come into my life. It's a similar thing. I don't want to. <laughs> she needs uh, salvation, man. And you imagine living your life just controlled 24 7, just controlled. And at night time, you're getting attacked. And then you just have to wake up and fulfill your role in society. You don't have nothing. And you know you're damned. You know, there's no, there's no salvation. Imagine that hopelessness. You know, people attack these celebrities sometimes, like, hey, look at her, she didn't want to go. But some of these. Some of these celebrities, they cannot control it anymore. They've gone way too deep. They have agreed, they have agreed to things. They've consented to things. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of these people from a young age, they've been just mind controlled from a young age, young age, and programmed, mind controlled, put all the personas inside of them and demons inside of them, groomed for success. And there's no escape. But there's only, well, there's one way to escape. But unfortunately, if she escapes, she she's going to die because the deal is made for life. Maybe she didn't even make a deal. Maybe they just put her out there and like, like a, little controlled person to do whatever she does maybe she's being handled you know whatever it is there's an escape but it's so freaking hard they need to embrace christ to escape she's saying i just want to be a mother she doesn't even want it anymore but she needs to keep up the pretense on social media and the media and everything that that she hey she's okay with it she's okay with these songs but in true reality it's right there in front of you, what, what she's going through you know look at britney spears well that's a different story man a lot of these people they're really controlled really controlled